tensions tonight running rather high on the campus of Columbia University. Anti-war and pro-Palestinian protesters still camped out, demanding the university divest from corporations that profit from Israel's war in Gaza. And a Jewish professor says his work ID card was deactivated so he could not enter the area of the protest. And New York Governor Hochul today went to the campus trying to ease tensions there. Those protests are now spreading to other universities in Manhattan, including NYU and the New School. I would assume reporter Jim Dolan at NYU, but we begin with Sonia Rincon live at Columbia up in Morningside Heights. Sonia. <laughs> Yeah, Bill, police did make arrests and protesters' tents were taken down last week after the NYPD says the university called them and asked them to intervene. The question is, will the university do that again? After allowing the tents to return yesterday, they are still there now, effectively disrupting classes and a sense of safety. With bitterly angry language hurled back and forth on day five of pro-Palestinian protests on and around the Columbia campus. The school has beefed up security on campus around protesters and their tents as classes were held remotely today and more tension simmered. And all of these lunatics are, have the audacity to discount a country. The police presence is visible outside where there are more protests and verbal clashes and even a few arrests. Free Palestine! Free, free, free Palestine! The NYPD says the campus is private property and enforces its own rules until someone breaks the law. New York asked to take action and did take action with a private property owner telling us that a trespass was happening. But when it comes to university rules about tents, tents up, tents down, that's really a question for the university. The university president in a statement says, in part, these tensions have been exploited and amplified by individuals who are not affiliated with Columbia, who have come to campus to pursue their own agendas. We need a reset. Protesters say they want the school to divest stocks, funds, and its endowment from companies they say profit from Israel's violations of human rights. A Columbia sophomore negotiating with the university on behalf of protesters on campus says today they're also protesting the fact that students were suspended last week for conduct violations. The university actually fed that uh, fraction between the students by um, issuing multiple, stu mu multiple uh, statements siding with, with one side and not acknowledging the other side. But Jewish leaders say the university needs to stop harassment of Jewish students. If you are calling Jewish students Zionists who are here trying to study, have nothing to do with the foreign policy or the, of Israel or the war that's going on in the Middle East, that is anti-Semitism. Do not be afraid of being Jewish, especially in New York City. Actor Michael Rappaport and Governor Hochul stopping by today. I've never seen a level of protest that is so person to person, it is so visceral. And I'm not calling on everyone. People need to find their humanity. Now the question again is how will the university handle this and facilitate that reset that Columbia's president says is needed. The mayor says the protesters are exercising their free speech rights, but that the NYPD will be monitoring for hate, hate speech once it crosses the line of terroristic and threatening. We're live in Morningside Heights, Sonia Rincon, Channel 7 Eyewitness News.